Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Yes. Uh, but how am I going to explain it, though? Ah, I can't tell him I'm going to be eloping and disappearing into another country. That yeah. might be fun. Honestly, I'm like, if this is a big point, I'm like, I... Goodbye. It sounds like we're really supposed to be picking, really, like Dylan or Phoenix. Uh, yeah, because... Because if Rai is genuinely saying I'm not going to participate, even if his family goes, well, you have to participate because of the, you know, if you marry the Dragon Slayer Princess... Then we'll be on the run for our entire lives. Oh, uh, boy. Who knows? Exhausting. It just sounds like we'd make him go home by marrying him. Mm-hmm. That's what it sounds like. Goodbye. I'm going to get married and move away forever. It's been nice uh, working for you. You know, I could actually ask my grandpa what would be appropriate to say to him. I could actually go to the adult in my life, but since the adult in my life has never been there for me, I don't think of him as a resource. Clearly not. He'll definitely think it's a shotgun marriage. Or, Are you sure? Or that he's seen I'm... these guys around all the time. If you've mentioned that, he's going to be like, he'll be like, right, that makes sense. One of these boys just like... Are you guys just eloping? Aggressively eloping. Aggressive this eloping. Is. This is just you running off and eloping. And mm. like, I'm in love. I just met them. Amazing. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. All right. I, Oops. Yeah. Oh, I locked the front door. Uh, something. Uh, something. Something. And, something. Uh, sorry. It didn't load. All right. Hey, uh, hey let me in. Phoenix? I don't know who that is. Who's out there? Ph Phoenix. What if it's that crazy loan shark? Nico, is it a girl voice? I don't know. Like his voice? I don't even know. Do we know what anyone sounds like? Uh, apparently Anybody? not. Or Alex, Phoenix. Wayne. We don't know anybody's voices. Phoenix. We can't tell anybody's voice. It's fine. Apparently not. We're just playing old robbers. Robbers, go away. We're closed. Or Corey? Uh, it's Phoenix. I told you. You really think a flimsy door will keep me away from you, small? I could burn this thing down so hard. Don't do that. Hey, damn it. Stop it. I can get through it, all right? Yes, we are all aware, but you don't need to prove it. Phoenix? I totally didn't recognize your voice or your accent at all. Or anything. Shocking. Or anything about you. Uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll let you in. I also can't see through the door or any of the front shop windows for reasons. For... Are you at the back door in the kitchen? That would be weird. Huh. I mean, I'm home. <laughs> I... He's like, hey, I saw this on a show last night. It was I hilarious. Know. I love... I stayed up with Dylan and it was magnificent. I know. I love interpreting him as all the weird language that he suddenly uses. It's just things he's picked up from the human world. He's like, I'll try this. I've seen it working. Uh-huh. I, like, I makes, got it. It makes him so much better for me. Uh -huh. I'm like, uh -huh. Phoenix breezes inside, kissing me on the cheek and making me blush. Just foosh. Hello. Oh, oh, my God. Hello, he lady. Back, goes, picks up a croissant. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to pay for that. He's like, oh, I thought you could have these because you work here. Yeah, did not you get to have things that are the place you in? During the day for lunch. Oh. Well, I get to have things at the place where I work as yep. a prince. Oh, Not right. the same. But you gave me food here before. Look, I'll pay for it, all right? I have plenty of money. I, get to, I will pay for it. Phoenix, what are you doing here? I shut the door behind him, relocking it so that we're so, alone in the building. Except that my boss yeah. is here, maybe? Maybe. Huh. I knew you were working late tonight because unlike that other inconsiderate jerk, I looked at your schedule. Oh, I did. I oh, asked brilliant. your grandpa and he knew. I, I thought you could use some company on the way home. Except for I came in here instead of meeting you outside once you came outside. So maybe you need help doing something in here? Maybe. 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 Thanks, that's sweet. Also, don't Honestly, know where this game is going. It's I don't know. I don't know. Like, do I don't know what's happening. Huh? Did we get another drama of the week? We've already dated all of them. How many more days are left? I don't know. I'm going to avoid of eventually. Uh, I you mean, will be faced with a choice. They're trying very hard to get us to run out of coins and things and be like, please, for the love of God, buy Spend something. Money, I guess. Me, no. Uh, uh, thanks, that's uh, sweet. Just give me a few minutes to finish closing up because... You could have just waited outside. Honestly, I've had friends come over and do that, and it is really sweet. Sometimes you're like, hey, thank mm -hmm. you for coming to see me after work. It's kind of cool. The void. Da da da. Rye, is that you? Rye, what is it? Uh, okay, I'm ready. Did you really just stand out here the whole time? Him. Him. Try not to put my head on the chandeliers. That's what I was doing. Actually, I was deliberately trying to, like, gently see how far I could bonk it with my head. I said, was. I got engaged in the sort of boink. I was Point. just playing with it. You Point. know how you sort of like just gently push a swing and watch it move? Like I just kept sort of seeing how far they would swing. And then the glass started rattling, so, so I was like, stop. I was trying to stop it. I was good at I stopped. it. Yep. I stopped. But I just, I just decided. Because the ceilings are so low. <laughs> like them. I turn off all the lights and the shop falls dark. Well, hopefully, once I'm you amazed. turn off the lights. There's another version of this shop. I'm amazed. There is Phoenix in the dark. In the dark house. I can't see a thing because oh. normally when I turn off the lights, I... 
I fumble out, but I'm afraid I might. You're so tall. If I put my hands out in front of me, I don't know what I'll touch. touch. <sighs> oh, really? Scares. Are you afraid of what you it's might like, touch? We're going, oh, I'm not. Is that what you, you know what? You can touch me wherever you want, and I will also lead you out of the dark. How about that? How about that? It'll be fine. Also, uh, it'll be fine. I don't require you know, anything. I just think it's kind of funny. Being actually, like, it's all right, honey. the light switch is right next to the door, so it doesn't matter that I can't see anything. I just open the locked door and walk out of it. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's I. He glows. Yeah, this should help. He glows. He glows. Whew. I have a glow stick. Hello, you. I crack. Shik, 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 shik. Thumbs like, up and down. <laughs> Does the minion thing? Yes. Oh God, I am a glow stick. Oh no. No, no. Oh, no. He just starts glowing no. from within. What? What? Oh no. What? My friend is gonna die here. What is it? What is it? I gotta know. Shh, shh. Crack. Oh <laughs> my God. No. <laughs> I'm not. That is not a glow stick, my friend. <laughs> Do not. You don't know. I don't know. You I have don't. no idea what his anatomy is. As far as I know, he could be just glowing from the inside, like one of those edgy nightlights that everyone's selling these days. Right? Honestly, like our avatar. Oh god, I've seen some really cool looking, though, like characters where people are like, you can kind of like see through the bones because like the inner innards are literally glowing. Uh huh. And, and you're you like, just, it just looks neat. Yeah, and you get that bioluminescent glow. Yeah, it looks yeah, super uh -huh. cool. I didn't say I couldn't see, I just turned off the lights. A tiny fireball lights up over his palm. Oh, he doesn't glow. Oh, he just I light. wanted him to glow. I wanted him glowing too. I believe he glows. I believe he has a furnace inside of him. That's why he's so <coughs> I reject warm. your reality and substitute it with my own. He hey. Glows. Hey. Illuminating my surroundings, which doesn't need to literally happen because I always turn the lights off when I leave. I unbolt the front door, which I just bolted, pulling the handle. Tug. Tug. That's funny. Are we gonna get locked in all night? What? What's wrong? The door's stuck, and there aren't, there isn't like a delivery door and a staff door or anything. There's only, isn't that supposed to be a fire trap, and there's only one door in or out of it? That's that's part of why my my grandpa keeps getting in trouble. It's fines for not being up to code. I learned yeah. this off screen over there, like everything else that's interesting that happens. Yeah, pretty much. Like, we don't know what's going on except it happened over there. Yeah, let me try. Don't break it. Don't break it. Tug, 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 tug. You're right. It seems pretty stuck. Is that normal? Can I break it? It's no use. Because it won't forever it's be stuck. jam stuck. Uh, you know. Yes! I could always. No? No fireballs, Phoenix. This is my, my pace of input. He looks so disappointed. He's like, damn it. He's like, oh. I never get to fireballs. I know the fireballs. I'm not <laughs> about to damage company property or my grandpa's potential livelihood if it starts selling better. Grandpa and Stanley would kill me. And by that, I mean they wouldn't actually kill me. Don't go trying to avenge or protect me. Oh, no. They, they would just would. just be really angry. They would wreck my life. Is there a back door? Good there job, should boy. Be. Good job. Like, really? Thank you. No, it is actually a fire trap. Oh, God. As far as I know from the little tiny things that I've learned watching sitcoms and shit, you have to have a back door. Like, this is an illegal facility. Are you okay working with that and supporting your grandpa with it? Your grandpa's in with a lot of illegal things, huh? Ah! He goes underboard with like like loan sharks and illegal buildings. Is he like he's really a serious crime lord, isn't he? No. No. St no. Phoenix, stop! And the windows are too small to climb through. For some uh, and reason, most of them, I thought we were like the Except for most of them just can't of, like, open. This chair. Yeah, pretty like, much. Bitty. Uh, I'm gonna have to sleep on a piece of toast. <laughs> Why? <laughs> toast! <laughs> because you can't sleep on the fresh bread. <laughs> this is the strawberry bread. This will be my bed. <laughs> Fuck everything. I love garlic in my eyes. <laughs> some chairs together. <laughs> no, you can use the other toast.
to us. I just can't put it down. I... I... Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess oh I could God. try calling for help <laughs> instead of telling Is your phone <laughs> also fucking going to be dead? And it's... there's no business phone? Tell me there's no, no business, business phone. phone. That's so You have stupid. no landline in your business establishment is be amazing. Like, it's so fucking illegal. Well, we could just spend the night here. Is that going to be a premium option? Spend the night in the coffee shop inappropriately with Phoenix? Holy shit, that's so inappropriate! Oh my god. You're not working tomorrow, right? But everyone else is still working tomorrow, tomorrow, right? They will show up and we will be here Because we will be on toast. <laughs> on the toast. <laughs> hey, Small, why are you sleeping on that piece of toast? <laughs> it looks more comfortable than an empty plate. Oh, I, why wouldn't you sleep over there in the oh, little cushions with the benches? Oh, shit. I forgot, I forgot. we had booths. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sleeping at a booth. With toast as a pillow. Oh, God. Oh, yes. I, I just woke up eating my hair. Because oh, it's I had one of those dreams where you're like, food. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Phoenix, you can use me for a pillow. God damn, what am I, chopped liver? No, oh, not, toast. Toast. not as good as toast, clearly. I could put different toppings on the toast. All right. I know it's not a typical date, but we're not a typical couple anyway. Right? Why like, would you suggest this? Isn't that so, basically like past a point that's illegal? It like, is. It is. You're like, not you supposed are... to be in businesses after they're closed down. Yeah. Now, it isn't necessarily illegal because her dad's the owner. If, grandpa. I mean, not grandpa, her grandpa. If he had given her permission to be there. But, but like being in normal business establishments after they're closed is not allowed. Unless you have explicit permission to be there, you are not supposed to be there. Yeah, now I'm like, so that's like your boss so inappropriate. Probably does not want you to be there. What? Also, your grandpa won't wonder about you at all. Mm. It's fine. What yeah. the absolute shit? He also I know we really... all talked about like when we were kids going like, oh, do you remember where they used to have malls where you used to be able to go in and they'd all be like, ah, oh, you're going to go spend the night in the mall? No, I Over never did one of those lock-ins. Ah. I only heard about them. I didn't go to public high school like it's you a, weirdos. I, I I I didn't either. No, Thank no, you. I know. But that, well, but like a school that even was out of my house. Which yours might have right, been a fine. charter, but No, 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 but the thing is, is my high school didn't do that. It was actually more like middle school and elementary school oh. also did that Well, I me. didn't... I, wow. I mean, I never participated because I always missed it because I was changing grades. Okay, the but only I... lock-in that I ever was in um, that I remember was was actually at, at um, our church because my mom was very religious uh, as a child and my dad's still pretty religious and both of them are really, I really religious. I actually remember if I And I have fallen that. fire from the tree because I do not share their religion. But there we go. But I, I did church lo- a church lock-in. I don't think I ever did. I definitely did like like slow, where everybody goes out camping, like that, but it's like a church activity, but not Never like in the building. With the, no, I did camping with the church once. Like, I did that a lot. Only Holy once. shit, Mormons are really just like, everybody, let's go out. And especially right. if you're identified into this section. He looks you so have grumpy here. I don't know why he's grumpy. Like, hmm, is this supposed to be the shy face? Will you have a sleepover with me? Will I you mean, have he is blushing, so. Will you have a sleepover with me, Small? Uh, it is. There it is. Why? I don't even care. Like, I don't call a, a locksmith. locksmith. Not like actually call, call your... Call locksmith! Call! Honestly, Not even like call your grandpa. We are going to attack him. We're going to yell at him and be like, screw you, or no way, because we've been aggressive to him every time we freaking turned him down. I... But I don't see any reason to sleep here, and I find that deeply inappropriate. And I feel like with her being connected to her grandpa's financial struggles and stuff, she would not choose that. Yeah, that would be like, awful. I don't care, because we could go to the store. We could just grab more gems real now, quick. Now, me, I think this would be fucking hilarious, but I'd also be, again, concerned about basically, like, you know, legal issues. See, like, like this... I think this could be very cute. Like, this could be a very cute scene. Uh-huh. And he's asking in, like, a way more polite way than he usually does. Right. Like, he really is just, like, this thing. And I'm like... It doesn't make sense for us to say yes, because we're like, look, this is an inappropriate situation. Right. And why we're calling a locksmith instead of calling our grandpa or the manager who That's should have so a master key. F- right. Like, damn, is really, I'm really also wild. Like, the door is jammed, and also you don't have a fucking second door? Uh-huh. Holy shit. Again, both of us are like, you're kidding. Also, you'd need to have bigger windows. Well, the thing is, is the In- windows that are big probably don't open. Again, uh, this is a fire hazard. Yeah. All right. So, no, I'm going to say I don't care, like I said, that, that this sounds like a cute scene based on Small's character, the fact that she's uncomfortable with this, and the fact that this is a business that is in danger. Like, this is her grandpa's livelihood, and he's already in debt for it. Right. I, she shouldn't want to endanger it at all. She should be like, I appreciate that. Like, honestly, if it was me, I'd be like, 
I appreciate that you want to do this, but there's no way we can do this here. If you want to have a date after we get out, that's fine. Hey, dude, want to have a sleepover at the house? Yeah, being like, dude, you can sleep over in my room. I always find that to be so funny that people are like, well, you can have a sleepover. for a sleepover. It's like, like, no, no, so I'm not going to do this. It's fine. Like, uh, thanks, but no thanks. We shouldn't be sleeping in a business. I feel like, like for some reason, I'm like, I can't decide if Phoenix is like completely aware or completely adits like what they're trying to write for him. I don't know. Like a level of confidence, him going like I could tease this, but then be like, yeah, it's really serious. I'd care a lot, especially because he was connected to you going to go deal with the loan shark. Yeah. He Why was. wouldn't he fucking go? You know, this is funny, but yeah, you're right. We shouldn't do that. How about you know we hang out and we do something else? Yeah, okay. going or, or going. The, the door's jammed. Is that going to be a problem for your grandpa's business? Right? Like, Not door's... going, let's just do a sleepover. For... I'm like, no. But going like, That seems weird for me. Also, if I'm trying to get to know you and care about what you care about, I keep going, do you like gemstones? Do you like this thing? Do you like music? Do you like whatever? <laughs> oh, you like your da- grandpa's business and you want him to be safe. Is a lock breaking a bad problem? You want to tell me about that? Right? Yeah. Like, I feel like that that's unfair to Phoenix. And that's another thing sometimes I, I get really too. frustrated where they don't feel like very well-rounded characters and they're just kind of like we went for a series of traits and going oh well you know he's impromptu and brash and whatever i also feel like a lot of times they put in the scenes basically whenever they can find a way to wedge them in like anything or that anything that fits a standard conventional romantic trope yeah whether or not it fits the narrative of your story romantic trope is oh we've been locked in somewhere oh no oh no kind of thing and i'm like but it doesn't work in the context of uh-oh. and they were roommates oh god <laughs> i would just be like today after today i just want to take a bubble bath and curl up in bed and if I've already slept with you in a sleeping bag and you were super polite and it was fun and warm, if you want to do a date and I'm thinking about marrying you, do you want to just sleep in my bed with me? Like, you I can mean, get clean. I mean, that be a little much for I small, can get but, clean. Right. The thing is, is like, I've already slept in a bed with you and you were polite and didn't push any of my boundaries. It's true. So, as far as I'm concerned, I know that you are safe in that capacity, or at least I can assume you are. Also, uh, if we're back at home, I can easily call for fucking help. That's one of the things that I really honestly also strongly dislike about that is going like, and then I know that I am safe around you, or at least I assume I am safe. That you won't like, push that my boundaries. Like, that literally fucking has to be. So, this is thing. one of those things that I always, like, I think that I've noticed a lot with people who do not like having base basically a woman identified or a girl identified character yes there's a level of basically really where people start getting super fucking concerned that it's going to be basically a violation of that character you're always anxious basically as the reader going, going when's someone going to hurt them when's someone going to push their boundaries yeah. and, when going, are they not and there's safe? literally yeah, you have to be safe from something you're not just oh i want you to feel safe here that means you're trying to get away from something so i've always talked about the difference between being safe and being comfortable someone's like i just want someone who makes me feel safe somebody who makes you feel safe means there's a bunch of things to be safe from, from yes if you're in an environment that makes you feel safe it means there's still a bunch of things to be safe from. from but if you are comfortable you are not being safe in my opinion yes like that is how the language works for me going you are you to be safe you have to be safe from something if no threat exists if there's no danger in your life at all you're not safe anymore you're just comfortable right you're at ease there's nothing yeah anyway uh, I, I, if it were me and I were her and I was desperately moving towards that, who am I going to marry thing? I'd be like, I need to spend as much time knowing if you're actually going to be decent to me as I right. could possibly get. Yeah. So now that it's in my face and you've suggested a sleepover, I'd be like, look, if we're going to do a sleepover, let's just do it back at my house. Right. Going, that's fine. It makes total right. sense. You're there anyway, so why not? And also going, this is fine. If we're going to continue round robin dating, I'll just have you in my bed tonight. No big deal. Right. And also, if all of them have to support each other, which they've been doing, just be like, you know what? Let's just have each one of you sleep with me and see if you're all fucking polite. Right? You know what? And I, if my grandpa's there and I'm at home and everybody else is there, nobody's going to break. Like, 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 I have all kinds of support if anything goes wrong. Right. Like, if I don't like anything. And I'm literally talking about sleeping here. Ooh. Can I join you? Hey. I don't think you'd fit in the bathtub, my dude. Like, we have a small bathtub. I smile dryly as I pull out my cell phone. Hi. It's kind of cute, aren't you? <clears throat> I'm really? going to call Eddie, who I've never no. mentioned ever before. The dry smile is like, oh, you're so adorable. I know, Thanks for like asking this. Yeah, I know. I know. know. It's like, I really I don't, know. like, again, I'm going like, as we've talked about off screen and on screen, I'm going like, I feel like these writers really are strongly making you kind of go, yep, small does not like, and therefore, through small, since she's the player character, right? Yeah. She's actually teaching you basically that you're not supposed to like him either. You're supposed to find him. You're kind Phoenix of supposed to find him to be a little bit too pushy, a little bit too creepy, or a little bit whatever, but he's just not okay. Yep. All right, so guys, ah. we're going to call Eddie and see what that does in the next, next episode. episode. Yes, yeah, so if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want to support us more directly, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. we got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And it was, it was great, great playing, playing with, with you. you. Bye! Bye.